what Capcom breaks, Valve can fix. Title update one is now working again on the Steam Deck. There seems to have been a couple of Proton hotfix updates and now using the default Proton, this is running out of the box again. Which is great news that we can play Monster Hunter Wilds on the Steam Deck, but not so great for the performance. As you can see here, we are still sitting between the 20 and 30 mark, and I have capped this at 30, not that it gets there that often, using pretty much the same settings as I did before with the lowest preset with XESS on performance. Trust me, it looks a hell of a lot better than FSR performance or ultra performance, which is what it actually tries to put it to if you set the lowest default. And for those saying that you can force a lower resolution, that's exactly what XESS in performance mode is doing. So there's no point in lowering the resolution any lower than 800p already. And as you can see, if you can bear the 20 frames per second, it is actually playable. And I did manage to take down another monster as well as a load of little monsters as well in between. So if you have nowhere else to play this, it is now playable again on the deck. Of course, if you do have decent internet connection and you have a bit of money to spare, then playing this on GeForce now is still a great way to play the game and still be portable. As you can see here, you'll get a solid 60 frames per second of full ultra settings, so do keep that in mind if you are wanting to play this on the go and you don't want to compromise that quality. I'll leave you a bit more gameplay here at full ultra settings so you can see just how good GeForce now is. This is the ultimate tier and does cost $20 a month, so bear that in mind. Let us know in the comments below if you're going to dive back into Monster Hunter Wilds, either natively or streaming from PC or GeForce Now. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.